So it's getting closer and closer and joining us now with more on just how tricky a process this is, relief well drilling and how it all works, is industrial animator Bo Brown. Bo, you've made some terrific animations for us to help us better understand this process and I appreciate it. Can we start with the, the big one, the relief well animation that you created? Just describe what we're seeing here, Bo. Um, well, you're seeing your, your two relief wells. It's, they're, they're being redundant. They've got a backup. You know, they're running two. Uh, drilling a relief well is no different than drilling an original well, except actually there's a pro. You know about the formations and the subsurface hazards from the data collected from the Maconda well. Uh, one of the cons is, is you're trying to hit a specific target. Yeah, and how tricky is that? I mean, I've heard people talk about this target as the size of what, a dinner plate or even a Frisbee. It seems unbelievable. Right. It, you know, actually, that's probably not the biggest problem. Um, because in their bottom hole assembly on your, your drill string, you have a, what's called a rotary steerable. And it's a directional tool that can go left and right, up and down. So they can steer that drill pipe anywhere they want. And there's a transmitter that sends that signal to the drill floor. It tells the driller where he's at, where he's going. And they already have the data at the Maconda well at that exact location. The biggest problem would be, you know, surface rig equipment or tool malfunction or, or rushing the whole thing and getting the pipe stuck. So lots can go wrong here. Well, you know, um, you know, the pipe getting stuck or a poor circulation or, a, you know, a bad cement job on one of the wells, but then they have the backup system. Um, another thing could be, you know, if they penetrate the well bore, you know, at that specific location, it, it might be too damaged. Um, there might not even be casing there from all that upflow of the oil. Um, it could be a, instead of a, you know, nice little small hole, it could be five feet wide. Yeah, so in other words, and they don't know what they're going to get when they get down there. Tell us about your directional animation. We've got that one up now, Bo. What are we seeing here? Okay, the, the directional one, um, that's just kind of showing you that that green part is that rotary steerable. Gotcha. It's basically bent, and it, it, you know, a lot of people think that you have to be parallel with this hole, and it can only go one way, and if they miss it, that's it. That's not the case. They can pull back, redirect that steerable and keep poking until they actually so we're gonna hit it. steer that thing around right now let's look at horizontal your other animation tell us what 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 this shows us this is just kind of showing you um, you know I know now you know from watching the news that they're hitting it at a, a, a long angle they're not directly horizontally drilling this is just kind of showing you how they bend that pipe because that is you know straight pipe but over time, you know, two miles down, that slight bend in that steerable tool, it, it's a directional driller. It'll change the course. So it's no wonder oh. it takes so long. Um, Bo, if right. this doesn't work or if something goes mm -hmm. terribly wrong, um, what are BP's options then? Well, um, you know, they could try to maybe intersect it at a higher elevation. You mean uh, drill again? Right. Well, they'll pull out and then readjust it. They could, you know, like I said, they can change the direction. Gotcha. You know, they could probably go up a little higher. They might have to use, like, I think it's called a whip stock. What else? Kicks it. Uh, you know, replacing the existing BOP, I heard, was one option. Uh, this is, like, totally off here, but uh, last case, worst case scenario, um, drilling additional wells into the reservoir, uh, you know, maybe set up a subsea protection and try to outtrace the flow. Uh, of the pressure and keep it at a manageable rate. You know, start sucking from that reservoir with multiple wells, it'll lower the pressure coming out of that broken one. Um, that's kind of a sorry outcome, but it's possible to reduce the flow yeah, it's doing so, that. Yeah, sort of horrible um, to think about what could happen here. What do you think of all the timing projections on this, Bo? I mean, we keep hearing they want this done by August. They want to have that thing plugged up. Um, is it realistic? I mean, this is slow going. It, I mean, it is, you know, they're, you know, they're over, they don't want to over promise and under deliver. So, you know, they're careful about when they give you the times, but, uh, this is probably the sure, this is the sure thing. The, these relief wells. Um, I, I like that, that L LMRP, you know, that, that dome that they have now, I mean, they're getting a lot of that oil. Um, and like I said, you know, if they, they drilled multiple wells, reduce that flow and keep trying to figure out how to cap it. I know in my business, I see tons of things. I get calls every day of all these different industries, you know, wanting to help and 
having these patents and ideas of how to stop the flow. So everybody's getting involved and, you know, hopefully BP's hearing it all. Yeah, we can hope that we learn from this, that's for sure. Um, Bo Brown of Industrial Animation. Bo, thank you again so much for um, making those and for helping us understand this a little better. I appreciate it. Thank you. And stay with